<sighs> hey guys, right now I'm in a foreign country at a ghetto setup and a laptop that will not stop making a buzzing sound. But you guys know me, I am a hustler, I am a go-getter, and I am never gonna make an excuse. I upload every single day, and today's video is gonna be absolutely insane. If you guys didn't see, I posted on Twitter, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, it's at Faze Sensor. Yannette and I acted in our first movie. If you guys don't know, that movie is Sharknado 5, and I am very proud of it. So what we're gonna do for today's video is we're gonna watch all the clips of me in this movie, and we're gonna react to it together, and it should be a lot of fun. Let's get started. Okay, I got a little excited. Let's keep playing it. That's me again! I'm right there! Look at me! Okay, I promise, I promise. That's the last time I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Let's just play the movie from here on out. Die with the shark guys like I said on on snapchat. I played a pretty pivotal role in this movie It was very important. I think I got about like 10 seconds of screen time and, and one line So Christopher Nolan, I know you're gonna be watching this I know you watched Sharknado on the premiere night and you saw me in this movie I accept your next movie role in Batman 4 or whatever your next movie is I, I accept I know you're concerned about my rate. It's okay. We're gonna work this out my manager and I, we're gonna handle it. We'll meet in the middle. Aw oh, man, no, seriously though guys, this was an amazing opportunity and I am so grateful for it. I know it wasn't anything crazy. I know it was just a small little clip, but this is only the beginning. You know, everything that you do in life has to start from something small. And I always use that to relate back with Call of Duty. I never forgot when I was 12 years old playing on a PlayStation in my friend's house. Uh, the first time on his TV playing Call of Duty, I played District Team Deathmatch with a light machine gun and I went 4-32 and 32 in my first match on Call of Duty and with enough practice, with enough repetition, I ended up becoming a professional and winning championships and eventually being the captain of FaZe and winning on FaZe. So although it's Sharknado, although a lot of people said that I try to hype this up too much, although people say, you know, you only had a little bit of screen time, one, we're in the very beginning of the movie. Like, if you look at the credits, we're like right behind the main actors. Like, it says in order of appearance, I'm the fourth person that appears in this movie. So that's pretty freaking cool. That's like, everybody who's watching the movie, the most viewed the movie is, is in the very beginning of the movie. So the fact that we were aired in the very beginning was sick. And I know a lot of you guys were tweeting me on Twitter saying, Doug, I saw you in the movie. Oh my God, I see you. You're flying the helicopter. Oh no, you just died. Why do you have to die, Doug? And although it was a small cameo in the movie, it was a pretty important part because if I wasn't flying the helicopter, helicopter, what would the main actor, what would Ian do, how would he get back to London to save his son and go to the next scene, like, without me in the movie, the movie wouldn't be able to move along technically, so, although it was a short part, it was a sweet part, I had my one-liner, I think I did pretty well in it, um, and I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out, it was a lot of fun acting on set, it's definitely something I'm gonna do in the future, I'm definitely gonna go out and do the best I can to win an Oscar one day, and just work hard at it, because I know, although, like I said, it's a small cameo, it's only the beginning, and it depends on how far you want to take it because a lot of people would comment and say something negative like oh wait, don't don't expect to get an acting career over Sharknado or like just like when I made YouTube videos don't expect to blow up and be YouTube famous for this one stupid video idea you have but that's really what it's all about guys and uh, you just got to go out there and try something new every day work hard learn from your mistakes and you're gonna be able to do whatever you want in this world so I'm gonna be a Hollywood actor, I'm gonna be super famous, I'm gonna make some really freaking fun movies one day. Right now I'll just stick to YouTube and keep switching it up every single day. But uh, for all of you guys who are here right now in the journey, I appreciate you and I'm definitely gonna work hard and get to the place that I wanna get to. And when I'm there, I hope to still have you guys along for the ride. And yeah, Sharknado was a great experience. Uh, I just wanna tell you guys something funny about that helicopter. 
we were actually on set with it and uh, we ran out of time because we leased it. Like you obviously with movies, you lease things, you rent things, you borrow things, you lease locations, you lease like props, anything. You make props, you lease props. In this situation, we rented the helicopter. We ran out of time filming with it and we never filmed my death scene. So I had to go back to set the next day and they were in a new location at this palace that was supposed to be Buckingham Palace. And they took like this big van and they put me inside of the van. They gave me this plastic joystick that was completely fake. And they gave me Turtle Beach headsets. So like, yeah, a lot of you guys are commenting saying, yo, is that a Turtle Beach headset? You're damn right it was. It was a Turtle Beach headset that I was wearing in the Sharknado. Like, I never would have thought I'd be in the movie and the first time you'd ever seen the movie, I'm wearing a Turtle Beach headset, like a gaming headset, which is pretty funny. But um, they filmed me in a van all by myself and they said, Doug, this was the first scene I did acting because like the other scenes was just like b-roll of me like opening a door closing a door um, Like waving people over like it wasn't actually like talking on a screen to something or somebody so my very first day technically I'd say acting I'm in a van. I'm all by myself uh, There was no elements around me It was literally like 20 people with cameras filming all these different angles different shots of me and they said okay Doug you're controlling a helicopter right now you're gonna act as if the helicopter is smoothly sailing and then all of a sudden you're gonna see a Sharknado in the distance. You're gonna pretend to start losing control of the helicopter, start panicking, start freaking out. Then the Sharknado is gonna come closer to you. You're gonna be really upset. You're gonna be really scared. You're gonna scream what the hell is going on to the back seat, which there was nobody in the back because there wasn't even a back seat in this, in this truck. Then you're gonna look back forward. You're gonna freak out again. You're gonna lose control of the helicopter and then you're gonna pretend a shark comes at you in your face and eats you. Ready? Go. And that's exactly what it was. Like, it was really weird for me to do that all by myself. They made it look a lot better in the movie. I think I could have done things a little bit better, but I think it comes with practice. Like, I only acted technically for two days, and I could swear, like, I learned so much just from talking to Ian, talking to the main cast, talking to the producers, talking to the, the people on the movie set, and practicing and just watching them. Like, that's the most important thing, I think, is watching other people, watching other professionals and whatever it is, basketball, Call of Duty, acting, and really following what they do and then practicing it and making it your own and that's how you're gonna be successful. So I definitely wanna do more movies. I can't wait for the next opportunity. There's definitely gonna be one out there and when there is, I can't wait to take you guys along with me for the ride. Uh, thank you guys all so much for the support. By the way, I'm in a crazy foreign country right now. Comment down below what you think it is. Tomorrow's video is gonna be crazy. We already have it planned out. It's super late at night right now and I'm filming this in like a really ghetto setup so I'm sorry if the quality's not that good but for all of you guys who are watching this, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys all so much for the support. I'm gonna be going to Call of Duty Champs, so I'm gonna be going to Florida from where I'm at right now. So expect some really fun videos, expect some World War II Call of Duty videos when I'm out there. Um, but yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a really fun vlog. I think you guys are gonna like it. And again, thank you guys so much for this recent support. My channel's never done this good in its entire existence. Like, I've never gained so many subscribers, so many views in the past two weeks. It's been absolutely insane. I wanna keep the momentum going and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Thank you for the support. If you haven't seen Sharknado 5, check it out. It's a fun movie, and yeah. It's been your boy Doug Sensor Martin, and I'm out, guys. Peace.